Hi Leo, what's up? Welcome to your October bonus reading. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. It means the world to me. I'm so glad that we are having this moment to connect and, you know, just see what messages you know, what you need to look out for, what you can expect, see what the vibes are like. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. Yeah, let's get into this and let's see what is going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, end of October, early November, like whenever you come across this reading. We have the Awakened Dead. The things that almost broke me were the things that most awoke me. Resilience. Nirvana self-appreciation number 18 wow i'm gonna get you another but this is some powerful stuff and very scorpionic too i just did scorpio's reading really interesting stuff that came through for them what's going on for leo thank you spirit we have the red rose don't worry darling you'll find your way don't worry darling darling <laughs> you'll find your way the red rose overcoming obstacles finding joy and confidence or sorry that says carefree but I, i'm hearing confidence confidence is the key so we have number oh interesting number 16 number 18 all right wow my laptop just went super quiet all of a sudden i could hear its fan and then it just like psh, like i could hear a pin drop so there has been a rude awakening recently that you've had i don't know why i'm hearing rude awakening that but for some, it maybe it was a little rude. But you've had an awakening. Um, you know, something that really shook you. Something that really kind of got you off track. It was a blessing in disguise. Or this is something that is opening the door for a new life. A new beginning. A new experience. You're going to find your way, Leo. It may not make entire sense to you at this moment. But you're being guided to the best possible path. It's all working out for you in the long term, in the big scheme of things, in the bigger picture. <sighs> but yeah, so you're needing to be resilient. You're needing to be brave. You're needing to be determined, strong, dedicated. Really step, step in to your power. Step into that confidence. And Spirit is also saying here with the Red Rose, carefree. You're needing to, if, if possible, I know it's hard, it can be very hard for me so i totally understand but if you can try to like care a, just a little bit less or like give no fucks like if you can give no fucks awesome very good um if you have to still care about it but just put a little less pressure and just know that it's gonna work out and your future self is looking back at you right now and it's like cheering you on it's all gonna be okay it's all gonna be fucking great so you, you don't need to worry darling don't worry darling <laughs> you'll find your way seriously you are finding your way it's being uncovered um i'm really drawn to how well first of all and you know what i'm noticing how this flower is actually blooming from the cracks of concrete I feel like if you've been in a situation that has felt like a brick wall or you felt immobile, you felt stuck, you felt like you have literally been cornered into something and it's very difficult to break away from, I'm really seeing that you are going to crack through this wall, this concrete. You're about to make some huge shifts in your foundation. Like if This is a foundational shift. Like We can literally see here there's this big crack in the concrete right and i'm also noticing that in this rose there are some flowers or the petals that have fallen so in this process of breaking through are you losing a couple petals yeah but that's part of the process and it's creating room for new growth new flowers that will bloom you know you gotta you gotta lose a few petals to gain a couple more flowers that's just how it goes and if you can see here there are new sprouts new sprouts new flowers that are going to come up that are going to bloom in the near future this those flowers represent you you are these flowers but you can't speed up the timing of a bloom of any kind of plants <laughs> whether it be trees flowers or other um we have the great goddess at the bottom transcendence divinity and shakti number 32 this is really see it's a seed because she's underground this is also something connected to your heart or your soul 
and you need to take it step by step by step by step, right? You see these little stones. <sighs> you may feel like right now the ground you're on isn't the most solid or the most firm, but as you're like returning home or you're returning to some place that feels safe and secure and this is your big breakthrough moment like this you, like i said you're this freaking flower blooming from the concrete you're about to hatch and make yourself known i'm seeing rainbows here i'm seeing dancing i'm seeing singing like this is powerful stuff you are blessed it's gonna be great believe in yourself trust in the divine trust your angels your guides you're being guided y'all it's gonna be fine you're gonna be great you'll find your way okay you may feel like you're being broken down to absolutely i don't know like rock bottom basically but this is going to be your biggest comeback this has been a big teaching moment for you but there's something about needing to give yourself that acknowledgement and recognition and appreciation for not quitting not giving up even during the times where you really thought that was it that you were doomed like you should be really proud of yourself for not quitting and staying determined and even if you did quit for a moment you still got back up you still fought another day good for you like that takes a lot of strength that takes a lot of courage and <sighs> good things are coming leo good things are coming so let's see um the energy that you are being asked to work with during this time i'm using the archetypes gonna pull a couple from this deck see how you can really lean into this and have the best possible outcome so we have the river coming out it did flip out in the reverse i will be reading just upright but typically when the river comes out in the reverse this is when you may be resisting change all right okay oh oops <laughs> oops like the card it, it tried to flip itself again in the reverse you may be resisting change also when we look at this card there is this horse right and when it's upside down there's this horse horses are incredible beings they're incredible creatures they can be very very stubborn though <laughs> like breaking in a horse now i ain't no cowgirl cowboy horse breaker person like i never <laughs> rode a horse when i was little but like horses damn they are very strong-willed and you are very strong-willed and it's showing that with these changes taking place um well, you, you're needing to be strong-willed with this change that you want in your life. However that fits for you, you're needing to really lock in and stay focused and like not quit. Be stubborn in that way. But I'm also seeing changes that have been outside of your control where you maybe have been resisting it a little bit. Or you've had difficulty accepting this new wave or accepting this new flow or just like adapting to the speed of like the rapids and the currents. Like you are being carried to something better you are being guided to something more alignment with you what well, it was like, it's kind of like the this card right the little stones you gotta take one step at a time um and so i'm seeing rap things are gonna pick up for you this makes me think of the six of swords card in the tarot i'm feeling like calmer times are ahead there is movement there is even travel coming up here maybe you're just needing to go to an actual river if there is like a river nearby in your area you take a little drive um maybe you are being guided to a stream a river a body of water that might be very cleansing purifying for you hmm. but yeah it's like the more you are in flow with this shift the easier the more seamless it will be the more you resist the more strong headed you are and the more you're like resisting this fight the more stubborn you are the more frustrating and challenging it'll be the more rockier and rapid the the current will be so really with the river let this current take you to where you're supposed to be right so that's kind of first kind of advice here is like let this current take you on your little boat on your little dinghy or if you're not even on one you're just floating just float right float let this river guide you because you're being guided to something amazing something better mm. this is really saying don't force anything do not force anything we have karos karos i think it's a greek word i'm not good with greek i'm not <laughs> not good with pronouncing shit we also have the one 
Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting... I think I have a, a package I gotta answer to, so I gotta pause. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, sorry, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so Kairos and the One. We also have the Orphan at the bottom. All right, so let's just go with these cards. So Kairos is really just about divine timing. Also, shout out if you have blue eyes. Little confirmation. Shout out to those with blue eyes. But yeah, Kairos is literally, it's all about divine timing and synchronicity. And that there is in the near future, like very, very soon near future, there is going to be some sort of event or... It, it, normally when this card comes out it's an event it's an event that's divinely guided and like put into place kind of like going back to these stepping stones one of the stepping stones is relating to kairos this divinely orchestrated event that changes the trajectory of your life like that's how severe that's how big this change is that this is what you're being guided to by the way the river is carrying you to this divinely timed event place person situation that changes you in the core with the one now the one it literally says like this is the one aka it, it could be representing that this person is the one this job is the one this home this thing this something is the one the one also does talk about the divine connection to yourself too um and you know that this is connected to like your soul's purpose and huh it's, it's just showing that there's a bigger picture there's some sort of coming together it's powerful it's transformative so basically the advice the advice so far for however and we don't know what's going to come out next right we don't know what's going to come out in the tarot which we'll get to that in a moment but it's the advice for you wherever you're at in your journey however this is resonating so far let this current guide you the less you resist the smoother this will be and it's taking you to the one divinely orchestrated to the one you're being guided to the one i don't know what the one is representing for you um but yeah and it starts from being separated from something the orphans at the bottom this is the last card we'll talk about actually let me take a peek the orphan and the sword this is interesting because this combination it did come out in libra last week if you got any libra placements they had the sword and the orphan and it was the queen and something else um but whenever i put the cards back i always will like put one card and then i'll shuffle it i'll go like this and then i'll put another card and i'll shuffle it so it's kind of crazy that these two cards came out together so if you got libra placements check out last week's reading for libra it might resonate i don't remember it anymore <laughs> i really don't but um yeah the orphans literally i mean it's in the name right maybe this talks about somebody here who was left behind abandoned um this comes to some sort of loss some sort of severing there's this reaching and longing for something like clinging on to something that has been lost and the sword underneath they're saying like yes yeah, some sort of tie has been cut there's been this cutting off i don't know if you've been cut off i don't know if someone cut you off or you're cutting someone off um there is this energetic severing though and i guess spirit is saying the sooner you can adapt to this um it will guide you to the one like let's say if, if you've been cut off from a person a relationship spirit is guiding you and even your higher self is guiding you to the one you have to go through this experience this person meet that person how that relationship again romance platonic family even business but this is all happening to guide you to the one all right even if you're having a hard time accepting that right now, you're being a little stubborn, a little horsey. Maybe you got saggy placements because I always see the horses saggy. But this is about your freedom. Ultimately, at the end of the day, this is about taking you to some sort of path that leads to freedom, um, liberation, and peace, happiness, and love. So I'm also going to grab you a couple of everything all cool cards, and then we'll get right into the tarot. This is so interesting. Definitely curious. Let me know how this resonates so far. And, um, oh, that, oh my god, I can't shuffle. Oh my god, what a fail. Okay, well, it does not, I'm trying to put the cards in, and it's like saying no, no more. Okay, what's going on for Leo? Second half, not the right time. Your first card, not the right time. Ancestor altered. Your ancestors could be trying, trying to tell you that maybe something's not the right time or maybe it's gonna be i don't know 
that's interesting though. We have timing coming out twice. Unrecorded, unbalanced. What's going on for Leo? Wow, that flew out. Vacation. You're being called to take a break from something. Vacation, it could be literal, like you're actually taking a break, you're traveling, you're going on a trip, safe travel as if that's you. Um, you might be planning some sort of trip. Spirit could be guiding you to taking some sort of break, leaving something. Um, leaving your per your life right now, it's not permanent, it's just a little breaky break, um, and then you're back to business. It seems like you've been on some sort of hiatus to rebalance something, and the, and the reason why you've needed this break or you've needed this vacation is because the timing wasn't right or the, the, again there's something about divine timing like you've been guided to taking this break but you're gonna come back to whatever whatever this was or i don't know blessing in disguise also at the bottom all right i'm also seeing if you're trying to plan a vacation with somebody you and this person might not be on the same wavelength or you may be disagreeing of when to take the time off to go on this trip. Someone could be arguing, no, it's not the right time. We need to save money. And someone could be saying, oh, but, you know, life is short. I could die tomorrow. Like, I don't know. They're, I'm seeing some things unrequited here. It might not apply to any of these cards that came out, though. But unrequited or unbalanced, not the right time. Maybe with timing, it's going to balance out. We have, what is this? Reconcile. There's something about a reconciliation here for a few of you. If the shoe fits, if you're interested in that, then this would resonate. If you're not interested in reconciling, then scrap this message. It ain't for you, right? Vacation and reconcile. See, it's like, have you, did you and someone break up and you're like, okay, I'm just going to like explore the field and then like, you know, see what's out there. And then when I'm ready, I want to come back and reconcile. Like, I don't know. Or if this is a job, like you took a break from the job, you got, you quit your job and wanted to see what else is out there and now you're like well, maybe i'll come back maybe i'll come back to work for you i don't know y'all this is so weird all right we have soulmates and then last card healer with manager at the bottom okay maybe some of you are entering a manager position um i'm seeing that if you are being guided towards reconciling with a soulmate then there's literally nothing that will keep y'all apart if you guys are meant to be together then nothing will stop you from reconnecting if it's meant to be if they are truly your soulmate <laughs> then i'm seeing that there can be healing taking place and that this could be um evolved but maybe it's just not right now right the whole not right now not the right time i don't know y'all Hmm. Anyways, your number is 86, 47, 7, 23, 27, and 11. 7, 11, y'all. 7, 11. Oh my god, okay. Who knows how that might resonate, but not my, not my worry, not my concern. This is just for whoever needs this. Okay, so let's see what else is going on for you, Leo. See what is happening. What do my Leo need to know? Look out for it. Be aware of during this time end of october early november what is happening for leo any insight any wisdom any guidance for leo sun moon rising venus in the month of october 2024 early november 2024 what's happening for leo placements what do y'all need to know king of cups as your first card out took a while to come out but here we have it king of cups we also have the two of swords at the bottom so you know you're really needing to lean into how you feel your emotions your heart your intuition you're needing to be open and receptive and communicative as well express your feelings express what is on your heart matters of the heart are coming up here and it's important that you acknowledge your feelings you acknowledge what is going on in your heart center now we have the two of swords at the bottom saying that there is a choice you are at some sort of crossroad in your life and you know logically you feel you logically you know there's this direction emotionally there's this direction so there's kind of like this inner battle between mind versus the heart is what i'm seeing here um and so you know you got to be strong stay strong be patient lean on someone for help or support at this time you might be asking for some sort of help um i'm also saying then i'm seeing the two of wands underneath that and then even the lovers there's big heavy choice energy in the air big big fat choices big decisions commitments 
relationships on the forefront. We got Gemini energy as well as Leo. You got a big decision to make. A big one. All right. What are you going to do? What are you going to choose? There's something you could be resisting, though. See, look, we have the nine of wands. I'm getting this resistance vibe from you, right? With the river from earlier. All right. So let's keep going. What's happening for Leo placements? <clears throat> What's going on for a Leo? What do my Leos need to know? Look out for during this time. Ooh, that grab this card, the red rose. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. Darling. You'll find your way. Seven of swords coming out with the page of cups. Well, I see somebody. Page of swords underneath that. Seven of pentacles. Somebody has been waiting for the right moment, right opportunity. Maybe this is you. If, you, if, if the shoe fits, the shoe fits. Someone has been waiting for the right opportunity to express something or reveal something. Emotions are involved here. Someone could be talking or expressing um, feelings that were hidden or weren't so apparent even with the king of cups and the seven of swords if this because this is your energy leo this is what's coming out for you i'm specifically asking what's going on for leo you're hiding something <laughs> you're hiding something probably more to do with your emotions and your feelings than anything else you're you're keeping it very much to yourself or you're reserving these emotions and feelings you're not telling people about it you're not saying it you're not expressing it you might be actually waiting for the right opportunity to address this matter but you're just not remember the card not yet not the timing is not right right go back to the everything oracle not the right time maybe you need to take some time to heal right we got healer maybe you are healing yourself um right if you're wanting to reconcile that might be in the books but maybe not right now you'll know when the time is right you're taking a vacation something's unrequited off balance so you're waiting um for things to kind of straighten themselves out um you know yeah temperance reverse and the three of pentacles there has been and then we have the lovers underneath that there has been some sort of imbalance or disruption um in a flow a workflow i'm also seeing here the three of pentacles there has been some sort of like someone hasn't been pulling their weight or someone's been slacking off or somebody has been expecting you to put in all the work and so i also feel here that there is divine intervention and even that's what kairos can mention is like there's divine timing divine orchestration like an angel a guide has over not overstepped but stepped in the way um setting these events into place so that things could rebalance out balance out somehow some way hmm okay if there are things that have been hidden from you if people have kept secrets from you leo you're about to uncover it or just even intuitively you know the truth you, it's like a king of cups he's super 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 psychic he's super intuitive he be knowing things you don't even have to say it to him he just he knows he has his intuitive abilities his psychic gifts and his guides are heavily connected to him so you know spirit be telling on these people so if people have been keeping a little secret from you you already know <laughs> okay <laughs> or shit will be revealed in the near future so all right what else is going on for leo what do my leos need to know look out for be aware of during this time end of october early november Okay, they want it this way we got the tower all right scorpio energy scorpio season's beginning tomorrow the 22nd and we also have the queen of swords reverse well whoa whoa what tell me why i heard liar liar pants on fire like what okay i don't not to say that this is what's actually li literally happening but i just I'm not, as soon as the queen of swords fell out in the reverse i heard liar liar um this is so wild. We got Scorpio coming on out here. This Queen of Swords reverse, this is somebody who is bullshitting. Somebody who is not being honest, not being direct. They are playing some sort of game or they're very sneaky. I don't know. This is so strange. You had a sudden realization about something. Or someone's plans didn't go accordingly and 
it's backfired. Four of Swords at the bottom with the Chariot, and then the Fool. And then we have the King of Swords, we have a pair, although the pair ain't so perfect, ain't it? We got an imbalance. There's a huge, huge, huge imbalance. I'm seeing with a feminine energy. I'm getting a sharp pain in my rib cage all of a sudden. That's gone now, by the way. Um, I just be picking up on energies. It's weird, y'all. It's so fucking weird how it works. But so, um, this is at the bottom. It was like, hold on, hold on. It was the Four of Swords, then it was the Chariot, and then it was the Fool. Spirit is guiding you to, before you take any action, before you move any further, sit, think about it before reacting, or before speaking, or before giving a definite answer. Remember we had that Two of Swords at the very beginning with the King of Cups? And it was like, okay, you have a big decision to make. And it was it was followed by the Two of Wands and the Lovers, and there was something else I can't remember. But it was really showing, like, your, your emotions are saying one thing, your logic is saying another thing, and it's like this back and forth, right? And you're, like, indecisive. It's so Spirit is really saying, before you make any further movements for swords give yourself the time to sit contemplate think about it before moving in this direction before taking this big fat leap before you put your foot on the gas pedal you're gonna want to kind of think about this before reacting or think before you speak okay be tactful be smart know what you're getting involved with or know what you're getting into um so the tower and the queen of swords reversed hmm we should look into that before we pull any more i need to know what this first of all let's look into the tower because this is sudden shakeups epiphanies sudden events the timing right divine timing divine orchestration this tower is connected to kairos and whoever this queen reverse is, queen of swords reverse, they can't stop it. I'm kind of getting an angry energy. I don't know what this is. Okay, we'll, we'll look into that in a second. Tell me the tower for Leo. Um, why is the tower here for Leo? Sun, Moon, Eyes, and Venus. In the October, early November. Why is the tower here? Bringing in change. Well, we have the five of pentacles sideways. It's neither reverse or upright. It's giving... Well, there's there's well, obviously there's two days two different ways we can look at this when the, the five of okay let's talk about five of pentacles upright five of pentacles upright talks about loss it can talk about loss of money it could talk about loss of a job a stability this can talk about big suffering problems even illness like this can be talking about like houston we got a problem <laughs> like we got a motherfucking problem uh to take care of soon pronto asap this is sometimes also an energy where you've been neglected cut off um shut out and there's a disconnect all right then this is in the reverse this is showing that there is a way out there is a solution there is a i'm hearing common ground i wouldn't really say that with the five pentacles but that's literally i heard common ground so gotta pass that on hmm there's a way out of this and so I would say, honestly, since it came out sideways, I would say you're you're from this five of pentacles position, kind of being a shit place, a shit time, not good. You're finding some sort or this opportunity. We don't even know what this is just yet, but it's getting you out of this predicament. It's getting you out of this situation um, that you've been kind of like you've been dreading a bit. Let me see. Time of the tower for Leo. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm feeling like there's some sort of... Again, I think that this is the Queen of Swords reverse because there's one person who has control over everything. Has control over what you wear, what you do, what you spend your money on, how you live your life. There's this controlling factor. There is this attachment. There is even like manipulation. Feeling stuck. Feeling like even... Like every dollar you make it goes straight into this person's pocket it's I, I don't know it feels like even like a greedy soul hmm hmm all right well clearly 
the same, the vibe. We have the three of cups at the bottom. I don't know if this is like a friend. Are they your friend? Or is this more of a frenemy kind of situation? We have the wheel of fortune underneath that. Something about this dynamic's gonna change. Not the tower for Leo. We have the four of swords. Well, it shows like whatever this big shakeup is, hmm. You're at peace with it, or you're like embracing you. We have the four swords come out twice. You're like, okay, cool. I don't mind. I'm kind of, I'm so that's good. Remember earlier with the river, I was like, it looks like you're kind of resisting this, or there is this possible struggle with adapting. But I kind of get this vibe this hasn't happened yet. So if this hasn't happened yet, and you've now you've listened to this reading, you're like, okay, Jade, I'm going to take the advice. I'm going to just roll with it. Whatever happens, I'm going to just let the current take me. I'm going to float. Good. Good fucking approach, because this is the way. Apparently, this is the way. I don't think this tower has happened yet. I don't think this tower has happened for... I don't know what if... Okay, I think it's connected to Cairo, so... I'm going to look into that. And then we'll see what this Queen of Swords reverse is about. I'm running out of time, too. Or I'm running at 30 minutes. Kairos. Yeah, let me look at... What is this whole divine timing? Kairos, please, for Leo. Remember, whatever this is, it's leading you to the one. Taking you to the one. I don't know what the one is either. <laughs> so with Kairos, what is this whole divinely timed... The Four of Pentacles there's something you've been holding out for waiting out for or holding yourself back from or spirit has actually been interfering preventing something from furthering or continuing with the page of cups i see you've been holding back communication or speaking or um a conversation like you've been holding back from confronting a person page of wands also the sun can be with another leo I'm hearing like last resort. Tell me about Kairos. Like I'm seeing a conversation. Oh my god, look. <laughs> Two pentacles in the reverse with the five of cups in the reverse. There is something that's kind of like up in the air right now. You're also trying to sort out how you feel. Or somebody here is trying to get clarity on their emotions. Because it's just all over the place. Perhaps that's why somebody's holding back. Or you're holding back. Um... And then we have the five of cups in the reverse where it's like regardless of the options and the choices and feeling kind of overwhelmed like which way do i go what do i choose there is this like acceptance hope healing and optimism instead of focusing on what was lost you're like oh, i'm actually i'm glad i still have these two cups i'm glad i, st I still got this <laughs> everything else in my life might be a hot mess but i still got this I'm st i still got these two cups in my hands I'm, in, I'm okay. I'm also in surrender mode. Like, your arms are just open to receive. You're like, I might have dropped a few things. I don't know what this... This reading is not making much sense to me, Leo. But this is what's coming out. This is your bonus reading. <laughs> this is kind of giving the same vibes for Scorpio. There was just a bunch of different messages. And at the end of it, I was like, what were we even talking about? And how have I been talking this long? All right. Why do we have a Queen of Swords in the reverse here? I don't know what this is. Something you've been blinded to or ignoring. I don't know. Queen of Swords reversed for Leo. Ten of Swords reversed. Well, the worst is over. With the devil. Oh. Hangman. There is something, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. This is such a weird reading. I don't know what's in the air today. <laughs> like, what is in the air? Look at this crazy, reckless, intense, kind of careless vibe that can be very destructive. And this is paired with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, the Devil and the Hangman, where it's kind of, there's this energy, or there's a person. We've got Capricorn, we got Pisces, someone who's being very destructive and careless and not giving a shit what happens or who gets harmed or this makes this reading makes no sense to me as a reader ten of swords reverse with the devil this and then the hangman like this is, looks like giving up defeat like feeling defeated and be like okay i give in devil take my soul what what <laughs> is that what this queen of swords reverse wanted you to do or is this what you want someone for to do for you? You're like, give in to this. I'm not going to change. What? I don't get it. 
I really don't. We gotta go. I have like, okay, I really, let's get one last card to wrap this reading up. I, this is such a strange, strange, strange reading. I don't know how this resonates, but if this is, tell me in the comments below. Make it make sense to me, because this makes no sense to me. We have Judgment and then the Wheel of Fortune verse. All this is saying, with the Eight of Wands at the bottom, all this can, all that can really, to kind of summarize final thoughts final messages is that this cycle is closing on out i guess the ten of swords universe can say like this is final this is done the worst is over you hit rock bottom but that's it and then with judgment with the wheel of fortune reverse this is significant especially with the phoenix rising this is so significant for you leo because it shows that you have turned the page you're not going back to how things used to be you are forever changed this cycle is done it's closed it's locked this door is finished and there's no turning back from this like this is literally the simplest terms there is no turning back from whatever the hell this was all about, whatever we discussed, whatever this reading was, I don't even remember at this point. I really don't. But there's some sort of divinely orchestrated events that are taking place. Maybe you're resistant to it, maybe not. But the more you are at this flow and float, the easier this transition will be. And however things are taking place, you're being led to the one. What is the one? Hold on, one last card. Tell me what the one is for Leo. What's the one? <laughs> where you're meant to be, who you're meant to be with, where you're meant to live, where you're meant to work. I don't know. Tell me about the one. Why is the one here for Leo? Three of Swords in the reverse. Healing from something. Overcoming some sort of trauma, some sort of painful event. This is like preparing you for something or someone. Tell me about the one. For Leo, we have the Ace of Cups. Some of you may literally, this last heartbreak you went through, that is the last breakup you'll be going through. You're finding the one. Like the next person that you come into union with, they may be your long term. They may be your forever person. Like, I don't know. Showing that some of you have new love coming on in. Once you heal from this previous experience or this, maybe y'all were dealing with a narcissist. I don't, I, don't, I don't like throwing those terms around, but sometimes we see the Queen of Swords reverse, King of Swords reverse, like someone with like those very scary behaviors and controlling and just so toxic so fucking damaging to be around okay anyways <laughs> showing you're being led to the one you're being guided to the one something so much better as you break away from this cycle as you break away from this event this person this place this thing like Look, at Five of Pentacles, but there has to be a closing of a door. There has to be a severing. There has to be, like, it goes back to the orphan and the sword. You have to, you have to somehow find the strength to cut this cord. There's some sort of cord you have to cut. When the timing's right, though, there's something about the timing. I have, this reading makes no sense to me. I think it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Like, it makes sense, but also I'm like, I don't know. So that's what I got. Good luck. Good vibes. Lots of love wish you all the best and um yeah leave a like comment subscribe i will catch you in your next reading leo it'll be your november reading oh my goodness how the hell are we almost through 2024 i don't know but um yeah thank you for being here i truly appreciate you have an amazing day and i will see you next week Bye bye